good morning dear students today we discuss about in the continuation of your subject that is project management today we study about the uh, very important topic that is evaluation of software economics so let's we discuss about the evaluation of software economics here you can see first of all we discuss about the economics what is economics and what are the benefits of this economics right so software economics is a software engineering is a mature research area uh, that generally deal with most difficult and challenging problem and issues of various software and determining or estimating cost uh, usually involve in this uh, production right so uh, we discuss about these thing here you can see the most of the software model are generally uh, abstract into the functions of the five basic parameter here we discuss about these parameters which is uh, involved in the evaluation of the software economics right so first one is size second one is process third one is personnel third fourth one is environment and fifth one is quality so what is size size is generally measured or uh, qualified in term of the number of uh, source instructions or uh, sloc sloc that means source line of code or number of functions point required to realize desire, desired compatibility and the size of uh, end product or result is required to developer or create a requirement functionality so uh, size is very useful and next one is process so what is process the process is is the step that used to guide all the activities and processor and the product in a particular ability and capability of process to avoid or ignoring the activity that are not adding any kind of values and also it is support to handling the uh, towards the uh, target or goals and uh, eliminate activity that are most uh, essential or important right so this is the process and what is personnel personnel that means the capability of personnel of software engineering is general and particularly uh, their experience with issue or problem regarding the computer science and issue regarding the application domain of the uh, project and it is emphasize on the team and responsibilities of the team so personnel is uh, very important when we are uh, 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 we when we are evaluating the software economics right and next one is environment what is environment it is a simply made of various tools and techniques and automated processor that are available and used to support the software development and effort in the efficient way right so this is the <coughs> environment sorry and last one is required quality so required quality that means the required quality along with its feature uh, its um, performance reliability scalability portability usability user interface utility adaptability and more and more right between these parameters relationship and uh, uh, estimated cost can be written in the including way here you can see the <coughs> sorry here you can see the relationship between them efforts equal to uh, <coughs> personal into environment into quality into size to the power process so this is the relationship between the these five parameters when we are <coughs> evaluating a software then we should follow these parameter according to this <coughs> equation after this we discuss about the <coughs> sorry discuss about the improving of the software uh, sorry uh, generation of software development what are the generation of software development and how it will work right so here you can see the <coughs> three generation of software develop development that are defined as uh, that are uh, below first one is conventional second one is transition and uh, next one is modern practices conventional that means it uh, work in 1960 and 1970s 
this is the organization used our uh, customer tools customer process and uh, virtually all the customer con component built in a primitive language right and project performance uh, was highly predictable in this uh, in the cost schedule and the quality objective were uh, among always understand uh, underachieved right so this in this model uh, uh, th this kind of work done and transition transition that means this this is the uh, second generation of the uh, of the software development and this is a uh, work from 1980s uh, to 90s 19 in this uh, in this uh, generation software engineering organization uh, organization used to more uh, repeatable process and of uh, repetition process and uh, of the uh, self tools and mostly uh, this mostly uh, this uh, uh, generation is used to uh, around 70% and customer component built in a high level language some of the uh, components are used uh, only 30 percent but uh, uh, were available as a commercial product including the operating system database management system networking and graphical user interface right so this is the second generation of the software development and next one is modern practice modern practice is used nowadays in 2000 to, 2002 uh, later software production this uh, book is uh, very uh, useful and uh, very uh, uh, important when we are uh, uh, when we are using the uh, the third generation of the software development uh, software uh, development right so this is uh, in this um, generation uh measured in this generation use use basically use of the uh use of the uh, managed managed and measured process integrated automation environment and mostly uh, of this uh, shelt uh, component right so this is the uh, this is very useful for example the process uh, advance could not be used to successfully without any component technologies and increase the tools automation so these are the these are the three generation of uh, the uh, um, software development just we discuss uh, uh, for the reminder after that we discuss about the improving software economics so what is the improving software uh, what are the parameters uh, of the improving soft, uh, software economics here we discuss the five parameter of uh, the software cost models are here you can see the first one is reduce the size of complexity of the need to be uh, developed next one is the improving the uh, development process and uh, next one is using more uh, skilled personnel and better team not necessarily the same uh, thing and the next one the, is the using better environment to develop a software and last one is trending off or breaking of the uh, on quality threshold so first we discuss about the reduce software product price so uh, how it will work this is the most significant way to improve the affordability and return on environment is usually uh, to uh, produce a product that uh, achieve the design goal with the minimum amount of human generated some uh, material right reuse the object oriented technology automatic code production and high order programming language or uh, uh, are all focused on the achieving the given system with the few line of human specified source uh, code right so this is the uh, uh, soft redu reducing software product size after that we we'll discuss about the improving software process uh improving uh, the development process right so improving software process process is an overloaded team there are three uh, distinct process uh, primitives first one is meta process second one is macro process and fourth one is micro process so uh, when we are using these three process so then improve the development process development process ko improve karne ke liye basically we are using these three uh, uh, perspective meta process micro process and macro process right after that we we'll discuss about the improving team uh, improving team 
efficiency how how we improve the efficiency how uh, we uh, uh, and, and it will work so improving team efficiency some rules of team management include the following uh, include the following uh, things first one a well managed project can be succeed with uh, with the uh, minimum engineering teams and uh, managed project with uh, almost never succeed even with an expert team of engineering and a well uh, architecture system can be built by a nominal team software builders and a pro and probably the uh, achieved system will uh, founder even with an expert team or builder so this this is the uh, fourth one uh, and uh, third one and, and fourth one is the how we can achieve the uh, better environment right so uh, in better environment we can use the achieving uh, the uh, required quality key practices that improving overall software quality focusing on the uh, driving requirement and critical use case earlier in the life cycle uh, life cycle focusing on the requirement components uh, and the um, technique and traceability uh, right so the, and we are using a metric and indicator to measure the progress and the quality of uh, the uh, architecture as the involve from high level to the uh, prototype level it it is a fully uh, uh, complete uh, product right so these are uh, with this help of we are improving the uh, uh, better environment right so uh, after uh, studying this topic one question is generated that is how you can improve the software economics explain in detail when uh, you are um, uh, going to the examination hall then you can answer uh, uh, this question with this help of this right so uh, thank you